Hello, I'm Andy. Um, this weekend, I went to visit my parents. It was lovely. Took Becky and the two girls with me. Had a wonderful weekend. Spent Father's Day with my father and um, my brother and his family. And just had a great time. Now, yesterday, we left my parents' house and we came back home, and I always feel a little saddened when I leave their, uh, their house, when I leave my parents' home. And I think it's because when I'm there, when I'm at my parents' house, I feel so taken care of. I feel like there's this nice warm blanket around me, and uh, I'm, I'm nurtured and I'm protected when I'm at my parents' house, when I'm even even when they're here, even when I'm around them. So when I leave them, when I come back home, it's 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 almost as if I have to get used to uh, taking care of myself again, which is very interesting. And um, the uh, the fascinating thing about this is that uh, many religions, especially Western religions, uh, Christianity uh, in particular, uh, we tend to see. God in the image of a father, you know, God the Father. This is one of the, the images, one of the symbols uh, that we use to uh, facilitate our experience of God. We say God the Father. And I think uh, one of the reasons that so many individuals, especially Christians, see God as a father, connect with an image of God as a father, is it's as if that father figure is taking care of us. So that, uh, so that no matter where we are in our lives, no matter what we're doing, we have a father figure. We have a parent uh, that is taking care of us. And even in more of the, um, I guess you call them pagan traditions, or more of the European uh, tribal relig religions, and even going f uh, further back, uh, the goddess, the mother, you know, Mother Earth, Gaia, uh, was also seen as a mother, as a nurturer, as someone who takes care of you. And it's just fascinating that this brings us so much comfort to think of, of a supreme being, to think of God, or Gaia, a mother and a father, as, you know, looking down and taking care of us no matter what we're doing. However, uh, I think most of us uh, have come to realize that these symbols, these metaphors, are limited, uh, are limiting, um, because, you know, God is so much more, you know, God is incomprehensible and, and, and ineffable. You can't grasp exactly what God is, uh, the symbols, the images, the metaphors, such as God the Father, uh, is an image that helps uh, that facilitates a certain experience of a of an essence or an aspect of God, meaning this part of God that takes care of us. But in reality, the truth of God, the ineffable, the ingraspable truth of God, is so much more than just a father, so much more than a mother, so much more than Gaia, so much more than anything we can even comprehend. So if you think that God is a father who's taking care of you, the truth is, in essence, God is so much more than that. And that not is just God taking care of you like a father would. God, God is a part of you. God's not just holding you up. God is the ground you are standing on. God is your legs. God's your mind. God's your heart. God doesn't just love you. God is love. So if you want to feel taken care of, uh, try to accept the fact that any aspect, any image of God that you can conjure up, the truth is so much more amazing than that. So if you think God is just a father, well, that comfort you feel from that image, the truth is even more comforting. The truth is even more nurturing. And even when you leave your parents' house, even when you leave this world one day, uh, you are always taken care of because that Gaia principle, that God the Father, is always a part of you and so much more than anything you could ever even imagine.